Hey, what's up gamer fans, and well, it's time to ring in another top 10 list. This time it's on video games, but not just any video game franchise, LEGO games. That's right, the brick building LEGO games themselves, based off of video games, or comics, or books, or you name it. I mean, there's something that has to be said about these LEGO games. They're not going anywhere, and as long as they keep brick building their way through movie franchises and so forth, continue to sell with mostly positive reactions, despite their silliness, well, they're still going to continue. They're not going anywhere. So, yeah, I know. They're the games that seem a little bit kiddie-ish, but hey, if you love the movies or comic books or TV shows and whatnot, you're definitely going to eventually check them out like I did. I mean, Legos are the, the toy that I grew up with as a kid, and, well, it's an interesting concept to see my favorite movies and so forth be made into these kind of games, despite its silliness, like I said before. So, yes, that's right. Top 10. Now, rule is, one per franchise, and, well, occasionally I might have to choose, and I might just go with both, or, you know, the complete saga, or whatever. You get my... You'll, you'll see what I mean when I, during this list. So, yes, that's right. Top ten. Yeah. So, here we go. Number ten. Lego Movie The Game. Yes, that's right. The Lego Movie, the movie that I thought was really going to tank, considering its product placement in the film which surprisingly succeeded our expectations. Yeah, and it was actually creative, it was funny, and yes, I know there's a sequel, Lego Batman, coming out next year, the movie, which I'm a little iffy on, but it looks like it's going to have the right kind of comedic value to it, like it's going to be self-aware of itself, and this game is no exception. The only thing, like I said, I hate about this movie and the game as well is that freaking song, Everything is Awesome. Well, everything is certainly pretty awesome with this game, so... That's why I included it on this list. If you saw the movie, well, you might enjoy this game for what it is. After all, it is the kind of Lego game that's after the finally started talking with spoken dialogue era. I know I'm going to probably mention this a lot, you know, because it started out with the whole mumbling dialogue, you know, not actual spoken words, you know, era of Lego games and how now they actually start speaking actual words and everything. So, yeah, keep that in mind. This game doesn't disappoint if you love the movie. Number 9, Lego Jurassic World. Okay, I know I haven't technically reviewed this one, I probably will soon, but to keep it short, sweet, and to the point, first of all, the title, Jurassic World. It's obvious they wanted to cash in on the fourth movie, which was, well, surprisingly really good. Better than the, you know, two sequels, but still not as good as the first Spielberg masterpiece. I mean, I didn't expect it to be, just watch my review on the movie that came out last year. But this uh, game does not only include the fourth movie, it also includes the first three movies along with it. Yeah, I mean, and it does a pretty good job despite a few silly things in it, like, um, you know, the Spinosaurus laying in a hammock and one of the raptors wearing a fruit hat. Yeah, I have no comments there on that. I don't think I have to explain very much, but if you like the movie, it has the music, it has the spoken dialogues from, I'm assuming, most of the actors and everything in the scenes, even though they silly fied them up. I know that may not actually be a real word, but you get my point. Spare no expense on this game, give it a look. If you don't like it, fine. Number 8, Lego Harry Potter. Okay, I mentioned that I might have to choose both, and or choose one per franchise, but this one... I can't choose, uh, you know, one out of the two, because I know there's two, years one through four, and then uh, five through, was it, seven or eight or whatever, even though it's the last book, is broken up in two parts, but, dude, if you love the whole Harry Potter franchise, you gotta play all these games, which is two games technically, so, I can't choose, I'm gonna choose both on this one. Yep, both Lego Harry Potter games are well worth all the magic of Hogwarts, that's right. Go, go play both, they're both great, so... Great Magical Adventure of Harry Potter in Lego form. Number 7, Lego Hobbit. Now, okay, I like the first two Hobbit movies as well as the last one. I know they're not perfect, and yes, I know it's ridiculous of how they broke one book up into three parts, as in, a, you know, opposed to the three Lord of the Rings movies, which were obviously meant to be three movies, because it's three books. But, I know, it's ridiculous how this game... You know, has the, fir has the first part, you know, un unexpected journey. And then eventually it got the uh, Desolation of Smog in. But, yeah, we can all agree, where the hell is Battle of Five Armies? With all the great action sequences in there, it could have been great to include it. But it never happened, and I don't know if it ever will, because at this point, 
it's just getting ridiculous. But otherwise, yeah, all the dialogue, most of the fight scenes from the films, they're all there, and it's great. I've enjoyed it for what it was if you like the films. If you don't like it, that's fine. I respect that. But, yeah, like I said, this is after these so-called finally speaking, you know, actual dialogue in LEGO video games era. So, yeah, you actually hear the spoken dialogue that should seem pretty familiar with the films if you've seen them. Definitely check it out. It's an adventure to Middle Earth that's, well, pretty fun. Number six, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. Obviously, this includes all four movies. And yes, I know there's a fifth one on the way, but just check out my review on this one. I don't think I have to explain much, but this is during the pre-spoken word on LEGO video games era. So yeah, it's a lot of mumbling, you know, <laughs> type of dialogue. But if you watch the movies like I have and pretty much like them for what they are, I know the first movie's great. Well, the sequels may not be as good, I know, because they're very long and a little over padded and confusing at some points and so forth. But the humor and everything is still pretty spot on. I know, like any other LEGO game, and I know I'll say this a lot, they're pretty over silly, but hey, what are the Pirates of the Caribbean movies not silly? So, it lends itself pretty well with the amount of humor and everything. So, very well done. Go check it out. Number 5, Lego Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Yes, obviously it's a trilogy, like, well, like The Hobbit doesn't really need to be, but this one does even better, obviously, because, well, it completes the saga for one thing. Yeah, all the fight scenes, battle sequences, it's great. They did a terrific job with this. I don't think I have to explain much with this one. Go check it out. An even better adventure through Middle Earth that you should definitely not miss out in LEGO form. Number four, LEGO Batman. Okay, I know there's a bunch of them, but I'm going to stick with the first one. I played the sequels, they're both good, but this one is, well, strictly Batman. Not that I'm going to bash the other ones because, well, they have other DC comic characters in them, but... I enjoyed this one. I like this one for how it, uh, re you know, references the comics as well as the films and so forth. Mostly the Tim Burton films, obviously, and it includes all the Batman villains in it as well. So it's a great dark adventure. It's dark, it's uh, edgy, and it's very well worth it. So definitely go check it out as well as its silliness as well. So yep, it's definitely a worth adventure through Gotham City. Crime never takes a vacation. Lego form. Number three, Lego Star Wars. Which one? Okay, I know there's another one on the way to obviously uh, tribute the newest film, uh, Force Awakens, but I haven't fully played it yet, or Lego Marvel Avengers yet, so obviously I have to play through both of these games to get a full genuine impression. So, complete saga, everyone. Yes, I know, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones were not very good, but trust me, for one thing, it's good that they're included in this series because you don't have to hear Jar Jar Binks talking or making any even noises that he makes or anything. Yeah, that's the one thing that's good about this game being during the uh, so-called pre-talking dialogue in a LEGO game era. God, I mean, I know I, re I say that a lot, but trust me, this is a good reason this was not released after LEGO games started having spoken dialogue in them. Because, yeah, like I said, you don't have to hear Jar Jar Binks talking. And everybody can agree he's the most annoying character in the entire franchise of Star Wars films, or pretty much in any film, in fact. Number one reason they hated her, pretty much anybody hated Phantom Menace, but trust me, it's well worth it. You might feel a little spaced out on this one, but trust me, it's an adventure to a galaxy far, far away in Lego form that you will not want to miss out on. Yeah. Number two, Lego Indiana Jones, the original. Yes, the original three films. I didn't mind the fourth one, but I know it got a lot of criticism because of the alien, the monkeys, and gophers, and so forth, but that's not the point. The point is the game that's based off the first three films. I know Temple of Doom is really not the most favorite. I technically like The Last Crusade. It's my favorite with Sean Connery, and it tributes the films pretty well. Again, it goes a little bit silly, and I know it's not actual spoken dialogue, and yeah, just watch my review on it. It's I should pretty much explain everything in that one, not have to explain it here. Just go check it out. It may not belong in the museum, but hey, it's good enough to make this list. And, uh, well, compared to the crappy games we got on NES and so forth, even though the Super Nintendo game was pretty good, but this one is a well worth adventure. It's such a shame the sequel couldn't hold up as well, because, well, it just couldn't. 
even though I liked the fourth film for what it was. It's a shame nobody else did, so go check it out. And the number one best LEGO game that I think is the best, this is just my opinion, people. Don't go shit if you don't agree. Marvel LEGO Super Heroes. Oh, yeah, okay. Again, I already reviewed this game, so I don't think I have to explain much more. Go play it for yourself. It includes all the Marvel characters from X-Men, The Avengers, Spider-Man. Yes, I know because Spider-Man's technically part of the Avengers now, even though it's the rebooted version, but I don't think this game is really acknowledging it as much. And hell, even at the end, spoiler alert, they actually include Guardians of the Galaxy, even though it sucks there's no Lego Guardians of the Galaxy game. I don't know why there isn't. I mean, come on. Even Stan Lee has a cameo and is a play becomes a playable character. I mean, hell, I don't have to explain anything. Just go play it. For Marvel fans, even if you're not a LEGO game fan, it's enough to get you drooling at the mouth. It's enough to get you satisfied and go around New York City, playing around New York City as Iron Man, Spider-Man. I don't have to explain much. Just go play it for yourself. It is awesome. It is a hell of a good time. So, that's my list right there of what I think the best LEGO games are. Until next time, happy gaming.